We gotta cook right now. We gotta cook. I forgot my my spices in the kitchen, but it's all good. We'll we'll, we'll be, keep it classic, white people. We're not gonna season our foods or anything. But this fucking Uzi producer, okay? We got evidence the other day that Uzi had a new producer. I don't know about artists just yet. It's not public if it is, but I think it's just one producer. It was that Akachi dude, okay? So he posts in a group chat about being signed to Uzi. He's like, I'm from Cape Cod, bro. You know, I used to fish and catch cod and it was hella gains and all that. And I eat salt and vinegar chips and whatnot right here. So he posts this in a group chat. Watch this. I'm signed to Lil Uzi at Warner. Have been for a while. Waited till now to tell y'all. Gonna post about it when album drops. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we post it. Then he starts like, he hits me up like, yo, this is supposed to be secret, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, first of all, this shit was on Reddit a day before I even posted it. Everybody was sending it to me and I was just trying to see if it was cap or not. Because imagine so many people trying to say, uh, I get hella DMs like, yo, I'm the new Cardi signee. I'm signed to Opie. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> Uh, somebody who signed a Cardi is not even going to say that because that would just be corny as shit. Now, I gave this dude the benefit of the doubt. I was like, okay, you know, people are co-signing that he, he is signed to Uzi. So let's give it to him. And he is a big producer. I checked his genius. He does have a lot of un unreleased tracks with Uzi. So I'm like, okay, let's post it. Uzi, new producer. So again, he starts hitting me up. Um, he posted, he, he, he sent this message in a group chat of like probably average age 14 15 year olds right because the uzi fan page group chat and i'm not dissing then i'm just saying like if you're gonna send this message and try and keep it secret ev like literally everyone in that group chat were sending me this screenshot like you really think that 15 year olds that are uzi fan pages are gonna keep that vital information that your signs to uzi secret no dude so at this point you're just corny but again i gave him the benefit of the doubt then he starts saying like let me pull up the message, bro. Let me pull up the message. He's not, he was like, he's not, he's not Bink. So he sent this in the group chat for the record. Whoever sent that lame, okay. If it was secret, I get it. I get it. Can we keep this private? Okay, again, he tries to keep all this secret in the group chat after he said, keep it private, still sent me the screenshots again. Didn't you learn your lesson the first time? This is supposed to be special for whoever in here. You guys are the real supporters. Um, so I want to share with you, not people like Baba Lamb or whatever. Lol. Guys, cooked. Not Bink. Yeah, bro, I'm not fucking Bink. I'm a grown man. I ain't sucking on no Binky probably like you do every single day in the back alleys. Is that what you call it? You get that BBC Bink from Chief Keef and Uzi? Sucking their Binks in the studio? I get it, bro. I get it. But again, if you're posting all this intel that's supposed to be secret, don't post it in a 15-year-old average age group chat where they're going to spread it. You're fucking dumbass. Sorry, BBL Bink, not BBC. Bob going to get shot one day? Have you seen this dude? He's not going to do shit. He's in a group chat. <laughs> okay, look. No offense to anybody here. If you're in a group chat, like consistently talking to Uzi fan pages, okay? No, again, no offense. You are not hard. No gangster is going to be in a group chat with fan pages trying to keep little secrets, sucking on binkies. They got fucking clocks. They're doing whatever fucking bitches, making babies, whatever. I don't, they're doing grown man shit. It's literally a broadcast channel to his followers. Okay? Post it then. That's Your Instagram is literally a broadcast channel. And it, what is a broadcast? You're announcing shit. So if you're trying to keep secrets in a broadcast channel that is public info, whenever you put something online, it's going to get screenshot and spread around. It's like people stealing NFTs. You just, oh, I just bought this NFT for a million dollars screenshot. No, nah, it's mine now. Nah. Is mine. And then, oh, the next day, hold up. The next day, 
Akachi Glow. He then proceeds. Oh, it's a secret. It's a secret, right? He proceeds to post. It's like, dude, now you're you're posting another news page, which is fine. I don't care if you post mine. I'm just saying. So now you're announcing it again publicly. Is it a secret or not? Doesn't make sense. Shout out Octave. Appreciate the dono. Who do I think Uzi would sign if he does make a label? I think if any big artist is smart, they will sign non-big artists. Like to make the real bags as an artist, I mean, sorry, as a label, you can't wait for someone to get like a little following, like even 10K. Like once you're once you're at 5K and you have an engaged following, say you get like you know, 500, 1,000 likes. It's already over. The label's already hitting them up. The A&R is already scalping that shit. So to get a good deal, as in like Uzi as a label owner, to get a good percentage because he's like, yo, I'll, I'll give you the cosign. I'll give you the feature. You know, we're going to blow you up. Um, you got to get them when they're small, like 500 followers, maybe even 1,000. Because if, again, if they're at 5,000, they're already starting to blow up. Columbia is already like, yo, here's a... I'll give you a million dollars or a hundred K or a uh, Interscope. You know what I'm saying? Like the money's already starting to roll in even on their streams. If they got 10 K followers, so they're going to know their worth. Whereas if someone doesn't have traction yet, which is really hard to get that initial traction, that's where labels and an artist who is now a label owner, that's when they have to step in. And I'm not trying to say they take advantage of anybody. That's just like, that's why like, Ken, I know, was big in Atlanta, I guess, but like he, I think he had like 500 followers or something when we first found out that he was signed to Cardi or that like they were affiliated when that picture came out. It could have been way, like he could have had way more followers, but I'm just saying like he was much smaller. And so now nobody can deny that Cardi was the reason that they blew up because he gave them the cosign. If it was like, say, a hard rock, hard rock could command like, yo, I want 50% of all my royalties. Whereas a new artist with no following yet, they would only be able to get like their standard 20 or even 10. Shout out Octave. He's part of the BBL squad. I didn't even know I had that, to be honest. Uzi's offsprings will be better than Lone and Ken, though. Will they? We shall see. As I said before. Because Cardi is such, he has such a successful label right now because of Ken. So Uzi needs to get, because it, it added that credibility. Like, because Ken was fired, then everybody was actually looking at, like, oh, Opium is really something, nothing to play with. Like, their next artist is going to be just as fire or even more fire than Ken. And so Uzi needs to sign somebody really, really fire that nobody knows about just yet so they can say that, oh, Uzi's co sign was the reason that he blew up and it really helped. So then now everybody's looking to sign to Uzi. You know what I mean? Even though they probably already do that, but um, no matter what, I think Uzi's artists would be super successful regardless. Whatever city they're in and people will tag them and be like, oh, is this Uzi's new artist? And like the whole lore will start to push this agenda for Uzi's artists. So I, I have no doubt that his, his uh, label would be successful. Drake's label low-key garbage though but that's just because he doesn't want anybody else to be the star he doesn't give anybody well actually he gives them features but then he doesn't really like post pics with them he doesn't really I feel like Drake doesn't really do shit for his artist after the first feature he just he just does it so he can blow up another song and say oh I can make huge hits and I'm not hating on Drake I love Drake but if he really cared that much he would let them develop their own fan base Roy Woods. Yeah, Roy Woods is good in the in R and B, but that's I don't really check that out. So I don't even know if he's really popping, but I haven't heard his name in a while, to be honest. I feel like Don Tolliver really owns that R and B space right now. I could be wrong though.